Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change your desktop wallpaper on your MacBook. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you want to first start off by just closing out or minimizing any programs or applications you have open. And then just go ahead and left click on a blank area on your desktop. Then you want to go ahead and select the Apple icon up at the top of the finder bar. So go ahead and left click on that and select System Preferences. Go ahead now and select the Desktop and Screensaver button. So go ahead and left click on that. Where it says the graphic, it might say Automatic here. Go ahead and click inside the drop down. And you can set different options here. So you can see it says to Automatic, but if you want to set it to Light, or dark, you can go ahead and modify that too just within the image itself, which is definitely interesting. And you can see Apple actually does have recommended desktop photos here you can select from. So plenty of options here to satisfy your curiosity if you want to go make any modifications again. So like I said, plenty of images here to choose from. You also have the option to go ahead and just set it to a default color. So you just want to do a specific color you can. And if you select custom color, you can go ahead and just select a custom RGB code perhaps or just drop it in here at just a random color you want. So you can see it does take a moment or two to actually update the desktop wallpaper. But again, very straightforward. And if you wanted to select a custom photo such as from your own library, you can select this photos option in here. So in your photos favorite section, perhaps images you've shared or albums that are on your computer. And you can also select this folders button that you can navigate to your pictures folder again. Or you can also click the little plus button under here too, and that should be able to add a new location. Or if you have a different location that you have these pictures saved in, you can go navigate to your desktop or wherever you may have your wallpaper of your choosing. You go ahead and select it from there. So again, very straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.